Hello, thank you for joining me in some garden education this spring. I hope you have a wonderful time learning about all the different topics throughout the weeks. I thought I would just do a little bit of an introduction of who I am since we can't meet in person. My name is Chelsea Mertens. I am the Marshall County Program Coordinator here for the county and I do all the garden education. So I work with master gardeners and I work with youth just like you around the community doing lots of garden education. So we'll go ahead and get started. If you have your week one packet, get all your supplies out and we will start going through the lesson. All right, so your week one lesson, we're gonna learn all about plants. I'm gonna show you some of the materials that I have in front of me. Some of you, are, you might have the exact same supplies. Some of you might have just a little bit different, just depending on which kit you get and what craft materials um, we put in your kit. So everyone will have a sheet of newspaper. And if you want to grab more sheets of newspaper to help you along with this activity, we're gonna be making a sombrero eventually. Go ahead and grab some extra um, newspapers if you have them. You should have pipe cleaners, a straw, a balloon, a feather, and definitely some tape and any other craft materials that are in your bag. Um, if you have some more than what I just showed you and if you have more at home, feel free to grab any craft materials that you have around the house and maybe some markers we can draw on our sombreros as well. So get all of your supplies out and ready um, and we will get started. Um, so the first material that you should have in front of you is I have a bigger version of this, but you should have a small sheet that says P-L-A-N-T-S, which spells plants. So ahead and go ahead and grab that out and then also grab a writing utensil and meet me back here. Okay, so now that you have all your materials out, go ahead and grab this and put it in front of you. And we're just gonna talk a little bit about what plants need to live. So I want you to brainstorm in your mind and pause if you need to, brainstorm about everything that you think a plant needs to live and grow big and strong, okay? So we are gonna fill in what plants need to, leave to, need to live in each one of these lines. Like I said, yours is on a smaller sheet. I just wanted to make sure that you could see this so I made it just a little bit bigger for that purpose, okay? So brainstorm, write some ideas down, pause if you need to, and then come back when you are ready and we will start um, writing these down. So when you think about what a plant needs to live, probably one of the first things that you're gonna think about is plants need water, right? Okay, well if you'd see, there's not a W here. We're actually gonna put it in the T and we're gonna actually write thirsty because plants do get thirsty just like us and they need water. So that's the first thing we're gonna go ahead and write down. We're gonna write down thirsty and we're gonna write down water so remember that's the water spot, okay? Another thing that we probably all are gonna think about right away is that um, plants need sun. Plants need light. So we're gonna go ahead and put light down on the L. And then if you want, just like what we did with the water, you can write sun next to that if you would like to. And then I'm also going to put um, the word artificial light. So basically, what that means is that the lights that are like above me lighting up my room, you can actually grow plants just like that. House plants use artificial lights. When you're growing seeds indoors, you can also use artificial light as well. So some kind of light is what plants need. And another thing you're probably gonna think about right away is plants need soil, right? So we're gonna write down soil down here. And there are other what we call mediums or materials that plants need. Um, you don't always have to grow plants just in soil. Plants can actually grow in gravel, which is rocks. Plants can also grow in water. Sometimes at the store you can find bulbs growing just in water on top of some rocks. So we're gonna, just like we did with thirsty and sun, we're gonna put a little dash down and we're gonna put those. So I said gravel or you could put rocks and I said water, so I'm gonna put water down. Those 
really help to grow roots. Sometimes when people do what's called propagation, they take a little cutting or a little stem of a leaf and they put it in water, that's called propagation, and they, they grow them in water and then they can plant them in the soil. And then another thing that I did not mention is sand. Some plants grow in sand, so just like that. Soil or gravel, water, or sand. Okay, so we got a couple more letters left, okay? So plants need a place to live, right? It needs to be in a, like a pot or some kind of container. So we're gonna put down that it needs a place to grow. And I'm just gonna write down like in a container. If you have a vegetable garden, you know that also some plants just go right into the ground, right? Or right into the soil like a bush or like a tree. But I'm gonna put down the container, just for reference, just for an idea. Okay, so we've got two left. The N will be a little bit tricky, so we'll leave that for last. But the A, I'm wondering if you thought about it, they need air, right, or oxygen and carbon dioxide, so we're gonna write down air. And just like the others, we're going to put down the word oxygen, and they need carbon dioxide. If you want, you can just put down air, or you can put down air and oxygen. You can put this big word down, but I would worry about the word oxygen. Last letter. That one's a little bit harder. It's a little bit of a bigger word. So that one is called, that word we're gonna put there is nutrients. Because just like you and me, plants need nutrients, which is like all of your minerals and all of your good things that you need um, for your body. So we're gonna put that down. There are different forms of nutrients that plants need. Also some big words, so hang on with me. We're gonna put down the word nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. Big words. But if you just wanna put down the word nitrogen, or nutrient, that's what we're worrying about, okay? That's all the good stuff that plants need, like your minerals, okay? And these are the big words I said right here. If you wanna pause and write those down, you can, but nutrients is the big word that we're worrying about here. So now that we have this done and we've thought about what plants need to live, that's gonna move us on to our next part of our activity, the fun part of the activity. So keep this off to the side right next to you because we're gonna refer back to this as we're making our craft um, to go along with this activity. So. If you remember at the beginning of this video, I talked about the newspapers and all those craft materials, maybe getting out some um, markers, some crayons, some color pencils. If you have them on hand, get those out right now and meet me back because we're going to go on the next part of the activity. All right, I hope you're ready for this next part of the activity because it's one of my favorites. This is um, activity is called Know and Show Your Sombrero. So. If you've never done this activity before, and some of you may have before, we are going to make a sombrero. So I've kind of started mine. So basically what you need to do is you need to um, unfold your sheet or sheets of paper. And if you grabbed more sheets of paper um, grab, um, to make more hats or make your hat bigger or stronger, get all those out and ready. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your paper on top of your head and hopefully with the help of a parent or a sibling or a friend that might be over, you're gonna have them, I, I, you can do this by yourself, but it is easier to do with a partner. So you're gonna put it on top of your head and see where I have the masking tape? You're gonna tape it around your head to make the top of the hat, okay? So this will take a minute or two to do, so go ahead and pause your video and then come on back and then we'll make the sombrero. So when you're ready, you are, I'm going to get this started and then I'll show you, you're going to start making the brim of your hat. So you're going to, you're going to roll up, you may want to um, 
kind of tape as you go. You may be able to just keep rolling all the way around the hat and then tape the very end. Kind of depends on how well you roll it up. So just make your brim, tape it down, and then we'll move on to the next part. So I'm going to pause myself. I'm going to make the rest of um, my brim and we'll meet back here. Here's my hat. I hope yours looks just as good. Okay, so I used about three pieces of tape to tape down the brim. I've got a nice stable brim to put things on. Okay, so you are going to grab your plants sheet, okay? And with all of your craft materials, what you're going to do is you're going to pick out an item for each one of these words, okay? You can use them because of their color you can use them because you can shape them into something like maybe you have a yellow balloon and you want to use that for your son maybe you have um a green feather maybe you want to use that as a soil to represent that that's the ground okay so kind of get a plan for what you want to do for each one of your craft materials and then go ahead and put them on the hat Okay, so I'm going to do that quick and I'm going to come back and I want you to meet me back here with your hat all full of your craft materials um, that represent all of these words, okay? So take time to go do that. Pause one more time and then we'll come back and we'll wrap up. Okay, I hope you've got your hat all ready to show someone. Here's my creation. I'm not going to put it on my head that way so I don't accidentally knock any of the supplies off. I've tried to use as little tape as possible. So when we filled out our plants, that was the no part, and now we're on to the show part. So I hope you take some time to show some, one of your family members or a friend um, your sombrero. So I'll tell you a little a bit about what is on my sombrero and what each thing represents, and then I hope you take some time to show someone just like I am showing you. So I wrote down, so I wouldn't forget, on the sheet of paper above every word. So here we have the container. This is supposed to represent like a pot. Okay, and then I grabbed a yellow marker, and you can't really see it, but I did draw a sun right here, so that was my light. My air is up here on top with my blue feather. And then down here at the bottom, I have a, peep, a, a pink pipe cleaner, kind of just twisted among um, the soil right here. This is my soil. Nutrients and soil kind of go hand in hand, so I kind of intertwined it a little bit. And then lastly, I have a blue straw. So I kind of went from the top to the bottom representing kind of like rain and how it will eventually connect to the soil. So that's kind of how I decided to structure my hat and my meaning behind everything. So oh, there is your sombrero and I hope I really hope that you take the time to show somebody whether it's someone in your family or a friend or maybe you just tell someone about it and what all of these are I hope you remember what all a plant needs to survive and um, I hope that you might be able to grow some plants in the future we're gonna we're gonna be able to um, dissect some seeds and really dive into more about plants later on in the next couple weeks. So feel free to do this craft again with some supplies around your house. Grab you can have you can grab any craft supplies you have around the house, or just use crayons and markers instead of craft materials. That works too. So I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. We will meet back here again next week to do the next lesson. Um, but until then. Have some fun outside, and I hope that some of you might be getting ready for garden seasoning. So we'll meet back here next week. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.